Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and we already finished with insert, delete and update database operation. Now we will come on to modify database operation. We all know very, very well, modify fulfill both the purpose. It will work as insert also, it will work as update also. If we are passing a order number, which is in the database table, so it will act as update. If we are passing a order number which is not in the database table, so it will act as insert. So whenever I will run the program, if I will give a order number which is not in the database table, so it will simply, simply insert that order number. If I will give a order number, which is in the database table. So it will update the details of that order number. Now, if the order number is there, it will update. If the order number is not there, it will insert. So is there a need for the validation? Because for modify, everything is correct. It will go for insert or it will go for update. So we will not go for any validation. We will not do, we will not give any message or something that order number is not correct. If order number is not correct, it will act as insert. If order number is correct, it will act as update. So we will not give any message or something. But what we will do, if user is giving a correct order number, we need to display the details. We need to display the details of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency so that user can update the details of that order number. If user is giving a order number which is not in the database table, these fields will be blank. User can put and at that order number will in will uh, that order number will insert to the database table so we have first part of the requirement what is the first part of the requirement if the order number is existing we will display the order date payment mode total amount and currency yes user can change if user want to change if user is giving a order number which is not in the database table, then these four things will be blank. User can put and whenever user will click on to execute button, it will act as insert. So we will write the logic for the same. And first part is same to same, which we did as a part of update database operation. So I will write the logic. If fourth radio button is capital X, if fourth radio button is capital X, if user is giving a correct order number, so can I copy this query? Yes, I can copy this query. If user is giving a correct order number, we will fetch the details of these four columns and details will come into this particular work area. Now, we all know before displaying the selection screen or input screen, which event will call at selection screen output. Same to same logic, same to same. So whatever is in the work area, we will pass it to the parameters. So I will write P underscore R4 is equal to capital X. Because yes, you are modify, it is acting as insert and update both. So update logic is same to same, same to same. If user is passing a order number, we will fetch it will come into work area. 
and we are displaying that details and we are binding that details with the selection screen fields, input fields. Now, if I will show you modify, that is by default ticked also. Suppose I am going for 10. Now you can see all those details come, okay? Now suppose I am going for 15. I am going for a order number which is not in that table. I am going for 15. Have you seen if you are going for a order number 15 which is not in that table, these four columns are not getting blank. Ideally, it should be blank. If you are giving a order number which is in that table, these four things are coming, that is perfectly fine. But if user is giving a order number which is not in that table, so these four should get blank, should get blank. Now we will handle here. This is the important part. Suppose this is your modify part. If you are giving a right order number, these four things will come into this particular work area. Now you gave wrong order number. You gave wrong order number. But whatever is in the work area, it remained as it is. So what we will do, if size sub RC is not equal to zero, we will clear the work area. Yes. Because if we are giving a wrong order number, if we are giving a wrong order number, nothing will come into this work area. This, it should be, ideally it should be, nothing should go to the work area. But this work area has the previous values. So it is displaying as it is. So what I will do, I will simply, simply, okay. Firstly, for the best understanding, suppose I will show you this part in the debugging mode so that you can understand how the previous values are still there. I'm putting a breakpoint. I'm running. Okay, now suppose I'm going for correct order number. We pressed enter. Yes, there is an action on the screen. Now we put the correct order number, fourth radio button capital X. It fetched the data of these four columns, and you can see the data of these four columns is into this particular work area. Now at selection screen output will call before displaying the selection screen or input screen. So whatever is in work area, it binded with this particular screen fields. If I will do F6, 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 now you can see it is perfectly fine. Now I'm going for order number 15. It is not in the database table. I'm pressing enter. Now fourth radio button, capital X. You can see this is the work area. It has the previous values as of now as it is. We are executing the query. Now you can see I'm executing the query. Okay. So just see this work area still has the previous value and it is displaying as it is. It is displaying as it is. So what we will do, if the order number is not in the table, we will simply, simply clear the work area. This is the only thing we will do. If we will clear the work area, then in that case, what will happen? If they will clear the work area, work area is blank. So blank will move to this selection screen parameters. So what I will do, I'll simply write a condition here. If order number is not in the table, it means size sub RC will be not equal to zero and we will clear the work area. What is work area? LWA display. If work area will be cleared, yes, the blank values will move to the parameters and this is what we want in case of insert. I will run. 
I'm passing a correct order number. Perfectly fine. I'm giving a wrong order number. Have you seen? Those are not in getting blank. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with modify database operation. We all know modify will act as insert and update both. For the new records, it will act as insert. For the existing records, it will act as update. So there's no need to give the message at all. Because if we are giving a order number which is not in the table, it will insert. If we are giving a order number which is in the table, it will act as update. So there's no problem. There's no need to give the message. But what we did, if order number is in the table, we need to display the details of that order number so that user can change. So what we have done, we simply fetch the data from the database table and we bind it with the parameters as a part of which event add selection screen output. Then we saw that work area is as it is. If you are giving a order number which is not in the table, but work area is not getting cleared. So if order number is not in the table, we all know size sub RC will be other than zero. So we clear the work area. If we clear the work area, so blank values will go to the parameter in case of insert, yes. And this is what we did as of now as a part of modify database operation. In the next video, we will write the logic as a part of start of selection so that we can do insert and update. That part we will do in the next video. Thank you.